Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you are new. And if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to get to 25,000 subscribers by my birthday, which is November 25th. It is creeping up on us, so help a sister out. Hit that subscribe button. Today, we are doing an Amazon Favorites Part 2. I did an Amazon Favorites video in the midst of quarantine, and I thought it was time for an updated one because I'm always on Amazon. And if you guys are ever in the shopping mood, especially on Amazon, I do have an Amazon storefront that you can go on, see all of my categories, see all my favorites, fashion, technology, all of that is already linked on that Amazon storefront. So I will have a link to that down below, but let's get started with my Amazon favorites. My first Amazon favorite are these sunglasses. These are such a big trend right now. They're kind of a dupe for the Ray-Ban sunglasses you see all the fashion bloggers wearing. I'm obsessed with these sunglasses. They're definitely my go-to. I feel like they go with so many outfits and I'm convinced that they're indestructible. I bring them everywhere with me. I throw them in my bag without a case on them and they are somehow still intact without any scratches. So thank God, but also they're only 20 bucks. So I wouldn't really feel too bad if I lost them in the lake. One time when I was in high school, my dad wanted to get me something for my spring break trip. So I picked out some Ray-Ban sunglasses and literally the first time I stepped in the ocean on that trip, the ocean ate my sunglasses and I was so pissed. So now I feel like it's just better to buy cheaper sunglasses so that you don't really have to care too much about them if you ever do lose them. My next favorite is this white one-shouldered crop top that I found. I feel like this is such a good basic to have. It is pretty thick, so I don't have to wear a bra with it. It also pairs perfectly with my favorite Zara jeans. I've been randomly obsessed with looking up Amazon fashion. I feel like they have such good athletic wear, especially with it being fall now. I'm stocking Amazon for all these cute sweaters, and I'm actually finding some really good things. I posted on my Like to Know It a couple of fall sweaters from Amazon. So if you don't know what Like to Know is, it is basically an app where you can shop all your favorite bloggers, outfits, and Instagram posts, lifestyle favorites, kitchen stuff, just random things. I'm going to try to make it a point to start linking all of my outfits on my Instagram and just random things I talk about in my vlogs on Like to Know It. So if you guys do already have the app, definitely go follow me. My name is so underscore gnarly, just like my Instagram name without the G. Next up is a workout set and it is this beautiful bright red color. I don't know if you guys have seen the Outdoor Voices workout set, but I definitely kind of got some inspo from that. So when I found this one, I didn't even plunge. I added it to my car and bought it because it's definitely a lot cheaper than Outdoor Voices. And the quality is pretty good. I feel like the leggings really suck me in and the sports bra is pretty good. It did come with padding, but I'm pretty sure I took it out because I just don't love padding in my sports bras. Like I said, Amazon has such good athletic wear and I'm definitely gonna purchase some more. So if you guys wanna see a whole separate video about Amazon athletic wear, let me know in the comments down below. Words cannot express how obsessed I am with this candle. It is from the brand Woodwick. It's the candle that makes the crackling noises when it's lit. I don't really care about the scent because it is kind of a light scent that I have but the noise that it makes, it is such a vibe, especially because it's been kind of rainy these past few days and I ate the rain, but lighting that candle just carried me through this week. Next up, we have the infamous Revlon hair dryer. I made a TikTok about this when I used it for the first time and it went viral. It's like at a million views right now. So I've been getting a lot of hair questions on my TikTok. So if you guys want like a hair video, leave me some questions down below because I definitely want to do a hair Q&A if you guys want that. This tool is truly amazing because whenever I did have to blow dry my hair, which wasn't too often, I would use a round brush and a blow dryer, but this has it all in one. So your arms literally don't get sore after you do half of your head. And it honestly just goes by a lot faster because it is easy to maneuver. I did get a lot of comments on my TikTok warning me about this tool though, because it could damage your hair, but I'm not planning on using it every day. Y'all know I barely wash my hair, so you don't have to worry about that. But just a heads up um, that that has been said, but it is on Amazon. I'm pretty sure the price was lower because I feel like in the midst of quarantine, it was super popular. And I feel like I remember seeing it being over 50 or like $60, but it's now under $50. So grab it while you can because I've heard it's sold out everywhere. My next favorite is kind of random, but it is glass Tupperware. 
I've been using just like plastic Tupperware for a really long time now and every time I have leftover curry or just like something that's really oily that has a color to it, it stains the Tupperware and then the next time I go to use it, it just like looks dirty even though I cleaned it and it kind of made me grossed out. So I decided to invest into some Tupperware and it honestly was not that expensive, especially getting it on Amazon. I feel like if you get it anywhere else like Target, it might be a little bit more expensive. And I was also kind of picky about wanting the rectangular glass Tupperwares and not circular because I feel like it's just easy to kind of organize it in the pantry. Another random favorite are these watercolor brush pens. And I also got some cardstock off of Amazon because I recently went to my friend's birthday. I was gonna get her a card at Target, but I realized they were literally like 12 to $15. And I was like, this is insane because she'll probably throw it out or it'll just be looked at for one second. So it's not worth spending that much money. And I decided to just make my own cards. So that is why I got the cardstock. So I made her this cute little cactus card. I know it's not the best, I'm not incredibly artistic, but it was fun to make and I feel like homemade cards just mean more. The last two favorites are in the food category and so we'll start off with my favorite crackers. I recently did the low carb diet. I became obsessed with these almond flour crackers. They are just that perfect salty snack when you need something and it was actually really nice to eat with like fruit or like a brie cheese. I saved the best for last. I've been obsessed with drinking matcha every day. I usually make myself an iced matcha latte but I think I want to try to switch it over to something more refreshing and citrusy. But it's basically just lemon, mint, honey, matcha, and water. And it's so good. It's very refreshing. And I feel like it just gives me a lot of energy. And it just doesn't give me that pit in my stomach like coffee does. I did start drinking coffee on a more regular basis and I was just like, this is not a good feeling. So that's why I switched to matcha and I recommend that everyone do because there's so many health benefits also. So the matcha powder I use will be linked down below. That wraps up my Amazon favorites part two. If you guys didn't watch the first one, go ahead and check it out. I will have all the links to these products down below for your convenience. Let me know if you guys already use any of these products or are going to get anything from this video and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!